Wait, Hope that answers your question, man. <laughs> yeah, that's a good segue. Because look, right, uh, we ain't going to give it all away, right? I want people mm-hmm. to come back for more, right? So That's right. Absolutely. If, if somebody wants to get in contact with you, right, man, what's the best way for someone to reach you, man? Oh, okay. Good question. Uh, so I am on social media. Uh, okay. I'm on I'm on uh, Twitter and uh, or X now. Uh, I'm on right. uh, um, Instagram as well as Facebook. I have a I actually have a uh, a private group on Facebook that's crypto related. Okay. Okay. And I also have I'm going to give you all of these right now and people that are listening um, as well. But uh, I have a website that I. Uh, started last year and it's it started out as a uh, just a crypto news website but then I started adding a lot of education there's an educational tab to it as well uh, that has a wealth of information there I mean I'm talking it does. glossary it does you see you've seen it so, yeah. yeah glossary of glossary of terms just just all types of tools that'll actually really help you out with the education side and the name of that website is a blueprint for crypto and that's the number four so blueprint the number four crypto.com blueprint for crypto.com okay and uh this it'll be the same handle on twitter uh blueprint blueprint for crypto uh and as well as uh my facebook group is blueprint for crypto as well okay and we'll be sure to flash it up for the audience right so they can make sure they uh get check you out see what you got going on it's, it's a lot of good I ain't gonna say free, right? Because everything costs out here, but he's giving some nuggets out here. So basically, mm-hmm. go to his uh, Instagram, go to the Facebook page, to his webpage. And if you're interested in kind of seeing how the future's gonna look from a financial standpoint, some options of what you could do besides traditional investing in the stock market, uh, definitely check it out. You know, one thing that you said, Ray, to tie it back to engineering is every investor must do their own research, right? So that's one thing that we have the uh, some of the students in the uh, Career Explorers programs, K through twelve program. We have uh, the first thing that the kids do, and even the college interns, they do a research paper about their particular uh, career field that they're interested in. Right? There's no right. need for me to want to go into being a, uh, a nuclear physicist if I don't know anything about physics or what they actually do. Right? Or understand the games, the rules to the games. Right? So Ray is challenging you, young people and older people, you know, understand the rules of the crypto game, right? You can get in it early. Like he says, it's it's a bear market or bull market right now, right? What'd you say? Yeah, right now for crypto, right now we're in a bear market. Uh, But the bull, yeah, bear market meaning, you know, every the prices are down right now. You know, there's a lot of, you know, fear and uncertainty about a lot of things. But uh, usually a lot of that changes when the bear market rolls around and 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 people started seeing those portfolios moving, you know, increasing okay. <laughs> quite a bit. But yeah, we're in a bear market now. But like I said, now's the time that you should be trying to do that research and you should be buying at these low prices. Um, and uh, I, I always tell starters, you know, that are beginning out, maybe you just want, if you're starting out, maybe just look into maybe Bitcoin and Ethereum because those are the two you know, titans in, in the crypto world um, that are vetted. They've been around long enough, right? They, right. they and and uh, they're, they're pretty safe. Um, and it, one thing I will say is the, a lot of people worry about, you know, getting scammed uh, with a lot of, you know, and, and that is a thing in any financial industry, right? Um, the one thing I will say is when you are comparing uh, crypto coins to crypto tokens, so there is a difference between the two, okay. right? Um, there t- it takes a lot of money to create uh, the coins, right? It, there's a lot of engineering, there's a lot of cryptography, there's a lot, there's a lot going on in the background to create a lot of coins. Um, Tokens, on the other hand, uh, can be created by a kid in their basement, right? So there, there is a difference between the two. And I won't give you the long story on that, but you want to be safe. Um, you want to stick with the coins more so than the tokens. There are some token projects that are phenomenal. They're amazing. But until you have done the proper research and you know exactly what to look for, the pros and the cons, and, and uh, I would say, you know, 
for new beginning investors that are interested in doing this, I would say maybe stick with Bitcoin and Ethereum first as far as investing goes, right? And you right. just got to get your hand, you got to get your hands wet. Like when anything else, you, you, you have to, you know, when you create that wallet, maybe try, you know, sending a small transaction, right? Maybe $5 or $10 worth, you know, of a crypto, you know, to a friend that may have a crypto wallet. Because that's how you're going to learn, right? Okay. Um, but yeah, man, it's, it's, it's a, uh, it's an asset class. And this is, I'll say this uh, also. Everyone was laughing at Bitcoin back in 2010 and 12, 2014. You know, nobody was really concerned with it. Uh, you had uh, the CEO of um, JP Morgan, I think Jamie Dimon, you know, he was calling it Bitcoin a fraud and, you know, mm. it was used illegally. You know, he had all these bad things to say about it. He wasn't the only one, but he was the first one that just came to mind. Mm. And you fast forward, fast forward to about 2019, 2020. Now he wants to hold your Bitcoin, right? He, he's wow. all in now, right? And and what you're starting to see now is a lot of these big companies, you know, J.P. Morgan, uh, BlackRock, um, you know, uh, a lot of the big dogs, right? They're all starting to get involved, and they're all loading up right now during this bear market, right? And so we want to do less. Of, you know, we 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 don't listen to what they say; we watch what they do. And I, I'll just say that, right? You okay, know, bro. believe believe less of what they say, but watch what they do. And if you've been watching in the background, you've seen the trash talk, and now all of a sudden, you got a lot of institutions, and you even got banks, and you got Visa, and you got Mastercard, and you got, you know, there's there's tons of huge companies. I can go on and on all night, but there's a lot of big players that are finally getting involved, and they're accumulating. And right. and I want to just you know, tell anybody listening, you know, retail investors like us, like we, we need to be doing the exact same, making the same type of moves that these guys are doing. Right. 